Hello Eurovision lovers and welcome back here to Eurovision 365. This is Podrick Colin and I'm calling from Northern Ireland. It's great to have you here wherever you may be from. Thanks for pressing that play. If you're also able to press that subscribe button while you're at it, that would be awesome for me and would mean a lot as I'm trying to build this channel bit by bit. It's a young channel so your support means everything to me. So, Poland is at Eurovision 2022 with great hopes and with a great singer as well, Christian Ochman. The question on a lot of people's lips, including mine, is can Poland win Eurovision 2022? Can Christian Ochman win Eurovision 2022? In this video, I'm going to look at the chances for Poland at Eurovision 2022, and I would love to hear and read rather not hear but read your comments as well what you think remember to let me know here in the comments below what you think i love to read all those comments so i do i love the engagement so can poland do it is 2022 the year for poland let's see So Poland are relative newcomers to the Eurovision, making their debut back in 1994 in Dublin when the contest was held there. The first song was an amazing one, Tonya, It's Not Me, performed by the beautiful, beautiful Edita Gorniak. Now, she finished second, as I said, and that was a great start for Poland at Eurovision. Since then, it's fair to say that the results haven't been brilliant. If you think of that great result in 1994, in 95 with Justina, with a great song, I thought, as well, Sama, that placed just 18th out of 23. So not a great start there. They gained a little bit momentum when they placed 11th in 97, and then back again in 2003, when they placed seventh. Now, as I said, Poland is a relative newcomer to the Eurovision Song Contest, only taken part since 1994 and haven't been at every contest since then. Some of the highlights for Poland for me is when they entered, of course, their first entry ever back in 94. And then again, I would say in 97, Ali Estem, a beautiful song that placed 11th and of course for me as well Ika Troya in 2003 and indeed in 2006. Now the results for Poland haven't been great. They didn't take part in 2012 or 2013 so let's go back to 2011. Failed to qualify in 2011. 2014 was a great song, placed 14th. 2015 placed 23rd. 2016 placed 8th, 2017 placed 22nd, 2018, 2019 failed to qualify, 2020 contest cancelled of course, 2021 failed to qualify. Now it's fair to say that anything, if Christian makes it to the grand final, he's already winning and doing much better than the most recent performers. But what are the chances of Christian doing well? Let's have a look at that. Christian Ackmann is, without doubt, a fantastic singer. Um, ever since I heard that song, River, I thought this is unbelievably brilliant. His voice is... For me, the he is the best vocalist at Eurovision 2022, and I just love the song. He, of course, rose to fame whenever he took part in The Voice Poland and won that, of course. And Christian is actually only 22. But I'm going to say this now. I might be accused of biased, but I'm not from Poland, so maybe I can't be. But his, for me, is the best song by a mile at Eurovision 2022. He is, for me, also, by a mile, the best vocalist at Eurovision 2022. The song is fantastic. The video is just sublime. He has such 
a fantastic range of vocal talent as well. I actually saw him at the Eurovision in concert at the weekend just then. And wow, he's just on he's just incredible actually how he performed. And it just seems so effortless for him. But can he win? Can he win Eurovision 2022? That's what I think about his song, but there's lots of voters out there, so and they will have the final say with that professional jury, of course. So a bit like the United Kingdom, it depends, I suppose, where he is going to be drawn within the final. I'm speaking as if he has already qualified for the final, but I would be extremely confident that he will qualify from semi-final too. He, um, a bit like the UK, depends where he is drawn. So if he's placed in the first half, or if he's drawn for the first half, um, it could be a bit more difficult to win. But that being said, Netherlands won from an early-ish draw with a ballad. So it's not beyond the realm of possibility that he could win from an early draw. Obviously, he would favour potentially a later draw, and he um, would ideally want to be placed between um, a few of the more up-tempo songs or more poppy songs if they do get through to the grand final. There is, of course, the small matter of Ukraine, which, of course, is riding high in the betting odds. If you just have a quick look at the betting odds, uh, Poland is currently in fifth with the betting odds. Uh, Ukraine is miles ahead when it comes to the betting. Um, Will they win? I don't know. They might win Ukraine, but if we're talking songs, which I am, I would say that it's not the best song that we've ever heard from Ukraine. But it all depends on the night, of course, and what happens. Anything can happen. But can Poland win? Time will tell, but what do I know? What do I know? I'd love to know what you think, though. Who do you think is going to win? Do you think Poland has a good chance of winning? Do you think some other country has a good chance of winning? Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I look forward, as I say, to reading those comments. So, until next time, my Eurovision loving friends, wherever you may be, take care. And remember that Eurovision 365 is for every day, not just in May. Take care.